Oh yeah. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that looks good, huh? Looks real good. Removal strap, reducer, work gloves, glasses, zip ties, and hardware. Excellent. Take these hold downs off and this up out of the way. Once we get the protector and everything off, we'll get that other bolt out of there. But for now, we'll get these batteries out. The main positive is taped up over here. The only other thing on the positive of this battery was the charging port, which we're not going to use again. And you've got your main negatives that were on the back side. The charging port negative will also come off there. And we'll get these 12 volts of lead acids out of here. These are 2022 models that are apparently shot. So they got really less than two years of service out of these. That's sad, but that's why we're going lithium. Everything that was on the main negative of the pack, I just taped together. It's all here. And then the main positive was here. The only two things on it was the charging port uh, hookups and the, the main power supply to your solenoid. So I like to keep all those together until the end, then we'll figure out what we don't need. I'm going to tell you what we won't need on the main negative side is off the charging port, hook the rest of them back up. But this is a very well-maintained cart. It's maintained every season by a local golf cart company. And you can see even by doing that, there's still a ton of buildup of acid and where these batteries just, they just leak. Like I said, these were 2022 batteries, but look right here, this is where you're gonna get into real problems, especially on RSV, RXV. You've got literal acid on your main harness here. The other star bolt for the metal hold down that goes over your lead acid batteries is very difficult to get to. You are able to access it without taking off uh, your controller mount or anything like that, but it is tight. I suggest a very small ratchet and uh, a good luck prayer. All right, so we got our bracket set and centered. You take a marking device of your choice. I've got a gray Sharpie here. I'm gonna center these so I can mark for my drill bit. These are oval holes so you have a little bit of room for air. These are centered and all the way back, right? Yep, centered and all the way back, the brackets. And we'll drill these holes, get ready for, and then we'll bolt these brackets onto our battery. Sit them down, brackets and battery all at one piece. And then you'll be able to just bolt your bracket and you'll be, you'll be mounted. So this is the drill bit that's included in the kit. And repeat on the passenger side. 105 amp hour inside this RXV and get her mounted down, hooked up. Now everything's lined up. We'll bolt and nut this through the bottom of the battery tray and then we'll get our wires hooked up. All right, so when we're hooking the new battery back up, you got a blue wire that comes off your factory RXV charging port. You can unclip this here and then what you're gonna do is cut the end of this off and we will strip this, put a spay connector on it. It will go to your 48 volt main positive. That's what's gonna allow your cart to run. So we'll do that and pick you back up. The rest of this is garbage, right? Yes, all this will be removed. All right. So this is the blue trigger wire for our converter. That way that we're not constantly converting power from our battery pack. On RXV, this is switch power. So you don't have to go up. You don't want to tie into the original key switch. You want to do it all under the uh, seat here. This only gets energized with the key in the on position. So this will trigger your converter to come on. And that way your accessories will work off the main pack. That's probably a little easier than running it the dash. It Absolutely. The RXVs, everything can be done uh, under the seat here other than your gauge. You can decide whether you want the gauge under here, if you just want to use your phone, or if you want to run it up front. Okay, so we've got our trigger wire made for our converter. Just an 18-gauge wire. Tied in, the converter's mounted over there beside the charger. We'll look at that in a bit. Right over here, um, this will go on the controller side of the solenoid on an RXV. We've also got our blue, uh, blue wire off our charging port that will allow the cart to run. And we've got our main positive, our reducer positive, and our charging port positive. So we've got our negative from the reducer, our negative from our charging port, all the other negatives off this RXV harness, and then your main negative. We'll just hook those up. 13 millimeter wrench. Good. All right. So we got our lithium Rhino 105 amp hour, 51.2 volt battery installed here on this RXV. We we're able to use the brackets. Got those mounted in. This battery is super secure. It's not going anywhere. We got our charger mounted over here. We got a reducer right in front of it and a trigger wire off the reducer going over to our solenoid. We've also got the blue wire off of our charging port going to the main positive. That way the cart will run. We threw the gauge in the back right here. The customer is mainly going to use the app. So we did want the gauge installed while it was here just in case somebody's phone died or whatever the case may be. So Got all our accessories wired up. They all work. Cart runs. Runs great. So we're good to go. Woo! Got some power.
pickup. Oh yeah. This is stock everything. 